what's up people piz out here and i've got another review request for you guys this one courtesy of the youtuber the legendary jim and he has requested that i discuss 1981's the prowler produced and directed by joseph zito and the prowler begins at the end of world war ii we see some old newsreel footage of soldiers returning home from the war then we cut to a dear john letter written by rosemary in which she is letting her significant other know that while he was away battling the nazis She's found love in the arms of another. We cut to 1945, and it is a college graduation dance where Rosemary and her new beau are brutally murdered via pitchfork by whom we can only assume to be Rosemary's jilted ex. And the college decides, well, you know, this whole graduation dance thing, let's just not do that anymore, and maybe nobody else will get killed on campus. Fast forward to 1980, They've had a change of heart. They've decided to bring back the graduation dance, and with it so returns the army fatigued killer who begins picking off the student body one by one in exceedingly brutal, savage, bloody, ghastly fashion. <laughs> um, 1981 was a great year for slasher movies. Not only did we have The Prowler, but we had Friday the 13th Part Two. We had My Bloody Valentine, and we had The Burning. Now, of those four, Friday the 13th Part Two was probably the most successful. The Burning, I think, has the best characters and the best practical effects. My Bloody Valentine just has this intangible, enduring quality that's just so lovable. How can you not love My Bloody Valentine? And The Prowler is The Prowler. And of those four movies, I think The Prowler is my least favorite however that doesn't mean that the prowler isn't a pretty darn good slasher movie on its own now the prowler the star of the prowler is tom savini this was the era of the special makeup effects guy is the star of the movie we don't have recognizable stars in the movie so the star is the special makeup effects man and it was also that era of who can you know who can top, you know, special makeup effects men trying to top each other? Who can be the goriest? Who can be the bloodiest? Who can be the nastiest? And at the top of that list, of course, was Tom Savini. And while Tom Savini also did The Burning, and as I said, I think The Burning overall has the better practical makeup effects, there's a couple of sequences in The Prowler that are just jaw-droppingly brutal and mean-spirited and just ugh. um <laughs> i can remember vividly watching the prowler for the first time and i think this was the blue underground dvd i don't know if i caught the film on vhs i might have i don't recall i i, I vividly remember that blue underground dvd though and the sequence where the killer stabs the dude in the top of the head with that big like bayonet the killer has a bayonet which you would imagine from a killer who's done up in army fatigues a sawed off double barrel shotgun which that's pretty unique you didn't see a lot of slashers in, of the 80s running around with firearms uh and also a pitchfork i don't i don't know i why not i guess hey a pitchfork let's do it um <laughs> um so he takes the 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 big bayonet knife sticks it through the top of a guy's head it comes out the bottom of his jaw that visually is pretty ugh. now when you add into that the sound effects of gurgling and gagging and struggling then you add into that the visual of the guy's eyes like turning white i could never tell did the guy's eyes just turn white inexplicably or did they roll so far back into his head that all you can see are the whites of his eyes? You add that all together, jaw-dropping. That sequence is jaw-dropping. Even by today's standards, even now when I watch The Prowler, that sequence is just like, ugh. Uh, and it's all of it put together. The visual of the knife going in and through and uh, the struggling, the sounds of the gurgling and the gasping, the eyes, all that put together brilliantly done and the effect as i said jaw-dropping jaw-droppingly good now of course if you're carrying around a sawed-off double barrel shotgun 
That's going to come into effect at some point as well. One character in the film finds himself on the business end of uh, that double barrel shotgun with it uh, unfortunately placed directly under his chin, turning his head into a big bloody red smear on the wall behind him. And it's just, it's the, the maniac head explosion like times 10. They, they, they like threw, there's like corn cobs in there and, and uh, you know, uh, shrimp dip in there just everything it, 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 Tom Savini threw everything in the kitchen sink into this head it just explodes and stuff goes everywhere um, there's a great sequence involving uh, the killer pitchforks a girl in the shower great sequence and what better place to pitchfork a girl than in the shower um, there's a great sequence in a pool involving a slit throat very simple Tom Savini practical effect he takes a real knife dulls the blade, cuts uh, a portion of the blade out that you can fit around a neck or, or like a body part or something, and you're basically just moving the thing around, but it looks like you're sawing into the neck. Uh, the effect is, is e again, even by today's standard, the effect is very, very effective. Um, the plot of the movie, even <laughs> what's interesting is, the plots of all four of those of those movies that came out in 1981 are very eerily similar, um, but I think even by a pretty, you know, paint by numbers <laughs> plot, uh, the Prowler seems very very paint by numbers. I don't think any of the characters really stand out. None of them really stand out to me. Um, the killer himself, I think, is pretty cool. The 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 fatigued killer, the way he's always shot, he just sort of looks like this phantom specter. He looks really eerie. Just the way the movie's shot in general, it's got this very soft, white, uh, like, glow to it. Very, very dreamlike. I, I, I always like that as well. But, make no doubt, the star of The Prowler <laughs> is Tom Savini and his practical effects. And as I said, you know... Just that knife, the knife through the guy's head and the eyes and the gurgling. and One of the best 80s slasher kills of them all. That's what stands out to me when I think of the Prowler. I think of the kills. And, and really everything, uh, the, the Prowler's kind of, you know, uh, the, the, the Prowler's kind of a movie that's just sort of there to set up you know, Tom Savini's effects. As a matter of fact, I think I read somewhere that like they, they would spend an entire day just setting up an effect. So the effects were the star of this film. Make no doubts about that. Those practical makeup effects were the star. And Tom Savini was in great, great form on The Prowler. Um, some really, really good kills in this movie. Like I said, The Knife, Fantastic. The pitchfork and the shower. Fantastic. The head being blown off by the double barrel shotgun. Wow. Really good uh, practical makeup effects in The Prowler. Um, of course, Joseph Zito went on to direct uh, arguably not just the best Friday the 13th sequel, but quite possibly the best Friday the 13th film in Friday the 13th, the final chapter. And um, he said that... Um, if he hadn't done the prowler is how he got that job so if he hadn't done the prowler he wouldn't have done the the final chapter um yeah i, I like the prowler a lot um it's not my favorite 80s slasher movie it's not my favorite slasher movie from 1981 but the effects are the star of the show and the effects are quite good if you haven't seen the prowler go check it out if you're an 80s slasher enthusiast you owe it to yourself to see the prowler um, so, yeah, if you've seen The Prowler, please let me know what you think of it in the comment section below. And if you've, if you've not seen The Prowler, go check it out. Come back and let me know what you think of it in the comment section below. Uh, thanks to the Legendary Jim for requesting my review of The Prowler. This was definitely a movie that I should have talked about on this channel long before now. So, thanks for a great recommendation. Uh, as always, thanks so much for watching. I appreciate it. Take care, and until next time, peace.